Next is a morning walk conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 18, 1975, in Durban, South Africa. They used this argument against us that the Vedic culture was most solidly founded in India. But you have, I have, I have cut down these rascal civilization. They could not take the Western civilization and they lost their own civilization. This is India's bad luck. The Britishers did not teach them how to take up the Western culture, but they killed the Eastern culture. Understand? You have no position. You cannot take the Western culture properly and you have lost your own culture. This is India. Bad luck. They never taught Indians how to uh, become actually Westernized. No. They are not giving them sufficient education. They are very much against higher education in the beginning. They wanted some clerks to conduct their activities, mercantile and government. Some third class, fourth class men, uh, educated means ABCD, that's all. They may know ABCD and take fifty, sixty rupees salary and go home outside the town and come in a daily passenger train and work hard here and simply get your money so that you can maintain your nothing. No education, no money, no industry. They were not taught properly. <laughs> Here I see the factories and the arrangement is so nice. But Indian factories go, it is hell. Yes. Hell, simply. The British has exploited the Indians. And the capitalist class of India, they have learned how to exploit. Exploit their own people. That's all. The formerly Manchester people were exploiting Indians. Now the Ahmedabad people, they have learned how to exploit. And government is satisfied because they pay tax. Never mind the workers, they suffer, go on suffering. This is the And they have lost their own culture and they have been taught how to drink, how to eat meat. The fact is that the Indians cannot work so hard as the Western people can work. The climate doesn't allow. India's climate is good for peaceful living, less work, and brain engaged in spiritual advance. That is India's thing. They are not meant for hard work. Hard work is not required for anyone. This is animal civilization, to work very hard. Then what is the difference between animal and man? The man has to work so hard like animal. Then what is the difference? Here in the Western country, that <laughs> climate is also suitable and they are taught to work very hard like animal. And they do that, therefore, the material they become so called prosperous for committing suicide. <laughs> Is it not? It's true. <laughs> and material advanced for committing suicide. Am I right or wrong? That's the problem. Yeah. You said in the Srimad Bhagavatam that <clears throat> if uh, one wants to increase the uh, material standard of living, then they should increase also sex life. 
Yes. And this is what they're doing in India today. Yes. Without sex life, one cannot be materially enthusiastic. And if you stop sex life, then you become spiritually advanced. This is the secret. If you stop sex life, then you become spiritually advanced. And if you indulge in sex life, then you will be materially enthusiastic. That is the difference between Western and Eastern culture. The whole Eastern culture is based on how to stop sex life. And here in the Western countries, how to increase sex life. <clears throat> they are eating meat, eggs, drinking wine. These things will enthuse sex life. And as soon as you get a very satisfactory sex life, you become enthused to work hard. Therefore, God means marriage is necessary. But because without sex life they cannot work. And for gyanis, yogis, bhaktas, sex life is there. Actually, they do not know the science of life, this Western civilization. Their life means his body. Their life means his body. That means they do not know what is life. And as soon as the life is gone, the body is there, they cannot express. This is their ignorance. Why the life is stopped? And they are very proud of advancement and give, bring in life again. That they cannot do. That means the whole basic principle is ignored. Murha nabhi janati. Moghasa, moga karma, moga jnana, vishita, sa. Then? Rakshasin. Rakshasin. Rakshasin is doing in China. Rakshasin is doing in China. Mohinim. Pakitin. Mohinim. Pakitin. Mohinim. Asit. Pakitin. Mohinim. Asit. Because. They are taking the shelter of prakriti, material nature, uh, builder and captivated. They do not know what is the aim of life, moghasa, or baffling. Moga karma, whatever they are doing, that will be useless. Moghasa, moga karma, moga jnana. Uh, there is no knowledge. There is no knowledge. <coughs> With their advancement of knowledge, what is advancement? They're increasing sex life, huh? and actually, the advancement of knowledge should be decreasing sex life. Yes, and they do not know what is knowledge. The knowledge means sex life. Sex life. That is the knowledge. <coughs> advancement of knowledge means. How to enjoy sex lives, how to um, take shelter of abortion, child killing, and, and contraceptive method. Hey, a whole thing on the basis of sex life. That's all. They do not know except this. They know there is botheration, upper sex life, but they cannot give it up. Therefore, all these animals take contraceptive, kill child, and what and what not. That means the whole thing is based on sex life. That's all. Janma ithana vigriha me risukam mitrucham. Is that pleasure? They think it is pleasure. 
to unite the uh, urinals, <laughs> and this is really good. Standard of pleasure must third class, fourth class. Janmai sunadi gyami de sugha tucham. Very I am. Tucham. This half is good. Must have come. And they take it pleasure and they make arrangement for you. When the dog enjoys sex life, therefore they are allowed to do it on the street. People can see it. Is that very nice scene? Yes. Huh? The same thing is done by the human being. And they are taking disease, all, everything. <laughs> this is the basic principle of their happiness. That's all. Mohini, Mohini. This is captivation. And nature has made the woman's face so attractive, beautiful, their breast, their heat, attractive, their sound, talking, singing, all very attractive. Walking, and now they are dressing naked. They are showing simply the vagina, all other parts of the body, clothes. Whole thing is based on sex life. And that is to chum, must have a man. It will take three hundred times birth to understand that this sex life is an abominable. Therefore, it is bhunam janmanavanti. Not that immediately, simply by hearing. Our Bhagavad Gita lecture, they will give it up. It will take many, many births to understand. Bhagavan Janmanavan. The basic system, sex life, is allowed only for begetting children. Restriction. Allowed, but with great restriction. Under religious rules and regulations and so many things, Garbhadhan, the first, the first principle is even it is taken for begetting child, it is not secret. Garbhadhan sanskar, there should be a function, all the brahmins and um, relatives will come and there will be ceremony and everyone will know that this man is going to now sex, have sex for the relating to This is ceremony. Not secretly, like cats and dogs. Cats and dogs also they do not do. Secret. Human beings do it secretly and do not want the botheration, therefore. They are sensing the advancement means how to kill the child, how to make our son, how to take contraceptive pills, how to distribute them, how to allow the children, yes, be gone, but take these pills so they remain and be bothered. Why not stop it? Bother is that you cannot. Because animals, because animal civilization, they cannot do it. Kandutiva manasi is a vishayeta dhira. Why don't you teach them to become dhira, sober? Let me tolerate this itching sensation. 
Brahmacharya. That teaching is not there. We do it repeatedly, suffer, and suffer consequences, and to stop it, we suffer in so many ways, suffering, suffering. Bhaudukha bhāda. Such light, illicit, or nigger. The after effect is suffering. Even it is not illicit, it is legal, then to take care of the wife, for the children, for their education, for their upliftment, and so on, so on, so on. Suffering. And if it is illicit, then these sufferings, you commit sinful activities, kill the child, contest the abortion, go to the doctor, pay, and so on, so on. So there is no suffering. Either legal or illicit, you have to suffer. Bahudukko bhaja. Tippanta neha kripana bahudukko bhaja. These rascals, once they have done, that's all right. You have got one child, just take care of it. No, again, again. Once you have committed sinful activities, killing uh, the child in the home, all right, stop it now. No, again. He is never satisfied. He knows that there is suffering behind this. Still he not stop it. Therefore, a sober man, a man should be educated to become sober. That let me tolerate this teaching. That's all. I'll say so much. This is knowledge. <coughs> To become rascal and more rascal, more rascal and suffer. Is that civilization? Simply to make the people rascal and suffer and commit suicide? Just tell them. We have created this civilization. To suffer and become rascal. Unless you become rascal, how will you suffer? So keep them rascal and suffer. This is nature's arrangement that you, living entity, a forgotten Krishna, all right, come under my control. Be rascal, remain rascal, and suffer. Why she is doing that? Surrender to Krishna. Otherwise, you will go on suffering like this. This is the nature's way. Prakita kiramanani, gunai karamani. But he rascal, because his rascal does not know that I am under the full control of Prakriti, material nature, and her business is to keep me rascal and suffer. And there are advanced in the education. They will say that this so-called suffering is actually pleasure. That's all right. Gone. Pleasure. Enjoy this Enjoy this pleasure. When everything is pleasure, then why you take the counteracting portion? Yes. Why do you want to kill child? Pleasure. Why do you take counteracting methods? If it is pleasure, That is the proof how much rascals they are. Yes. <coughs> Murana Vijana. to understand why Krishna 
has spoken so many times, Muraj, Maya Abhutagya. Eh? Krishna, the Supreme Lord is speaking like that. There must be some meaning. Human civilization means to give relief to the human being, um, comfortable life, not to repeat the same uh, business like the animals. That is human civilization. You see practically that only the devotees are somewhat free from anxiety. Yes. We have little anxieties simply because we have to deal with this rascal world. Otherwise we have no ability. But we have taken this mission to go and approach them, tell them the truth. Therefore, we have got little anger. Otherwise, there is no question of anger. Because we are mixing with these rascals, and we have to do that, we have taken this mission, therefore little anger. That is also not very much. Must know the whole world is full of rascals and fools. That is not exactly. Huh? Or you have got different opinion. No. Hmm? What do you think? Do you agree? They are mood high. Or Vadik is fine. All rascals and fools. Therefore, when I ask these rascals, any question? So. <laughs> Come on, any question? What the question? <laughs> <laughs> I challenge them, any question? Yeah. You know that we have been through those rascals. Said, last night told that Asachanan Suchastam Pragyavalang, this is the position of everyone. Everyone is full rascal, he does not know what is the real problem of life. Nobody says that why you are calling Sorry. everyone rascal. <laughs> In Montreal, some Bengali gentleman said, Samiji, he is using very strong words, fools and rascals. Can it be explained otherwise? And no, this is the only word. That we are all rascals and fools. <laughs> this is the only word to be used. You once said that anyone who has a material body is mm. rascal. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <coughs> and they're trying they're trying to maintain this body. Although the rascals know it will not be maintained. You cannot. You are not allowed to maintain. Neither will be allowed. It is that time. Punak punak chad vita chad banana. Which is impossible 
cannot be allowed, and they are trying for it. How this body can be maintained? Yes, we are trying. Now the disease has been reduced. Now they are living more days. These are their things. They never say, no, it is important. Still they will support their rascal endeavor. That is another sign of their rascaldom, that they don't accept that all of their endeavors to maintain the body will be defeated. Yes. That seeing, experiencing, history never says that any man has become yes. immortal. Even the Hiranyakashipu, and not to speak of the small demons, a great demon like Hiranyakashipu, he could not. And not to speak of these teeny demons, one kick is sufficient to kill them. They never say that. European lady will never take a burden on head like this. But Indians they do. Even respectable families, all that. They also carry on the head. You'll find many good people. Simple living is natural. How is it that the Europeans especially, they've become the uh, vanguard of rascal culture? Because they're rakhasas, they're eating meat and drinking wine, and you see stuff. Rakhas, what do you do? Hiranyakoshipu means, Hiranya means gold, and Koshipu means soft bed. So like this is rakhas, they are searching after cup bed and gold mine. I do know we have come here. Oh, Krishna's grace. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? Very yeah, good. Bolia could Krishna has a bully. Is there any question? We are discussing so many things. You have any question? Swami says Swami is gone for work. Uh-huh. So the golf course so it was quite uh, community kind of here. Mm. I just rushed up, I said let me rush and find the chair in the walk. So, you, you, you can repeat what I have spoken, you can hear. Yes. 
Yeah. Krishna, he describes no, some... Okay, you can play this. Yeah. Okay, play it back. <laughs> Comes in here. Yeah. Huh? They are trying to maintain this body. Although the rascals know it, it will not be maintained. You cannot. You are not allowed to maintain. Neither will be allowed. This is a crime. It is impossible. No, it cannot be allowed. And they are trying for it. How this body can be maintained? Yes, you are trying. Now the living has been reduced. Now they are living more days. These are just things. They never say, no, it is impossible. The children will support their rascals. Modern advancement of science what actually they have done. Hmm? We are talking on that one. <coughs> Simply misleading. The Bhaktuna Thakur has sung on night. Eating meat and drinking wine. <laughs> <laughs> he says, Jaravidya sa mayar vaibha. Jaravidya means material education, so-called material science. So Jaravidya, Vidya means education. So, this expansion of knowledge means expansion of the influence of Maya. Jaravidya sa Maya Bhaiva. And the result is Tumar Bhajane Bhaga. People will uh, forget God with the advancement of so called material science or material knowledge. The result will be that people will forget God. And then next, next is the anitta samsare mohajan maya. This material world, which is temporary, where we cannot stay, we are already captivated. But this advancement of material knowledge will make me more captive. And I shall walk just like an ass. Yeah. Now, whether he is right or wrong, tell me. He is charges the advancement of material education is advancement of the influence of material energy. And if you say what is the wrong there? The wrong is that we are already rascal, and this education will make me more rascal. Amitya samsare mohajanma. I am already captivated in this temporary material world, and these things will make me more advanced to be captivated in this material. Now this is the version of Bhakti uh, Now, if you don't like, tell what is the reason. Tell me, material education, we are already captive under the laws of material nature. And the more we advance in material education, will be more and more rigidly captured. So this is the Bhāsana Bhakti Mahat Thakur. What is your answer? Okay. 
can anyone reprove Bhaktivinoda Thakur that he is wrong? People may argue, though, that without education, you can't even read the knowledge that Bhaktivinoda Thakur is speaking. How to read Bengali or Sanskrit or English or anything like that. And that is real education. We want mm. that you learn from Bhaktivinoda Thakur, you learn from Basdev, you learn from Narad. But why you are learning from Freud, from Darwin, and such rascals? Education means you should learn from a person who is authorized, who is without mistake, without illusion, who does not cheat. That's why we are learning from Krishna. That is education. And if you learn from rascals and fools, then what is that education? Education means to learn from the learned person. But if you are learning from a rascal and fool, then what is your education? Education requires. But we require what is actually education, which is not cheating. But we are being educated, being cheated. We are working for this body, which I am not. Is that education? Or it is cheating? If you say, I am taking my interest, I will say, my thing, what, well, I watch daily my shirt and coat. And then, is that knowledge? Knowledge. And what about you? You're fool. I, I, I don't care for that. I wash my coat and pack daily. Is that education? You keep yourself starving and you keep your coat and shirt very clean. Is that education? This is one. Therefore people are restless. He's hungry. What he will do? His cars and this so shirt and coat and big building. Why is he committing suicide? Because he is not happy. There is no food for the spirit soul, what he is actually. Is that education? That is not education. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur is right when he says, Jeev ke karo e gadha. This material education means making people more and more asses. That's why. He's already ass because he's in this material world. And the so-called material education means keeping him in that condition more and more. So after when he leaves this body and when he takes the rebirth again, Swamiji, hmm. then he starts off all over again. Uh, no, he starts according to the body he will work. If he enters into the dog's body, he will work as a dog. If he enters into the body of a tree, he will work as the tree, stand up, naked, without any shame. You cannot protest, your branches will be cut up. So these things are there. What do they know about this science? Eh? Krishna says, tata dehandra prati. You have to take a different body. He does not say what kind of body. And you can see by practical experience there are eight million four hundred thousand different forms of body. You have to enter one of them. So what you can do? The nature will force you enter this body. It may be a better body, or it may be um, an abominable body, but you have to enter another body. Where is that education? That I'll have to enter another body after death, and let me prepare what kind of body I can have. Where is that education? You are blind? Is 
This appears to mean three legs, but it is not. Did you take one breath? No. How long you are all in South Africa? All of born, yeah. You are born, all of you? So born in India. are both within the material world. Is the jnani considered more elevated than the karma? No. Jnani is on the margin between material and spiritual world. He's trying to understand what is spiritual world or spiritual life, what is material. That much. So he's better off than the karma? Yes. For me, has no knowledge. What is the aim of life? But Gani is understanding that I have executed the material activities so long, but I have not become happy. Then what is the reason that is Gani? At heart of Brahma Vidya. What is real life? But because they are uh, not trained up as bhakta, they come to the conclusion of the impersonal Brahma is the final. That is the defect. So anyway, they are better than the Kormi. So the Gyanis are very rare though, aren't they? Huh? No. Oh,